Hello viewers. While dimensioning the transport network, we often come across a word called transport network overhead that is called as TNOH. What is TNOH? How it will be calculated? All these things we are going to see in this video. Let's start the presentation. Before calculating the transport network overhead, let's examine how the transport layer helps the UE to carry the data from um, UE to the core network. So basically transport network creates a pipe from UE to the core network. So something has to be there to carry these services from the UE to the core network that is called as the RAB, radio access bearer. Radio access bearer is nothing but a virtual concept. It carries UE's data or signal from the UE to the core network via radio access networks. Each service or group of service has been allocated with different kinds of RAB. These RABs will be treated in a different way when it come across transport network, radio access network and core network. So the same radio access bearer network, when it comes into transport network, it was split into two carriers. One is radio bearer and the S1 bearer. Okay, this is the basic thing which is happening in the radio side as well as in the transport side. So let's come across uh, the uh, TCP IP layer format. A TCP IP layer format consists of application layer in the top and then the transport layer and then the network layer and finally the data link layer and the physical layer. Okay, so what is the data application layer? Application layer has a uh, pure data, uh, da pure data that is called as a packet data unit. So whenever we use an uh, UE, that is a mobile device, it used to generate 700 bytes of packet data units. And whenever we use the laptop, it generates 1200 bytes of uh, packet data units. So these data has to be given to the TCP IP layer. So first we gave it to the application layer. So for example, in our case, we considered uh, the UE as a model. So UE generates 700 bytes of payload data. So this is given to the TCP IP model and first it comes through the application layer. In application layer, there is a protocol called GPRS tunneling protocol. It wraps the data and then give it to the transport net network layer. In transport network layer, we have two different types of protocol. We all know that it's a TCP and UDP and UDP is predominantly used. In our case also, we use the UDP. So the data is encapsulated using a UDP header and then given back to the network layer. Network layer have IPv4 or V6. We, use, we can use both versions and the data is encapsulated by the IPv4 or V6 header and then given to the data link layer. In data link layer, we all know that Ethernet plays a crucial point here. So this data is encapsulated by a Ethernet frame. Finally, it become a frame and it is converted into bits and bytes and transported in the physical layer, okay. With this concept in mind, we will move on to how, uh, how to calculate the transport network overhead. Okay, first the payload data. How much is the payload data? Since we are using the mobile, 700 bytes uh, is the PDU size. Then it goes to the application layer where the GPR tunneling protocol is there. The header of the header size of the GTP is 8 bytes, and then it is given to the transport network layer where the UDP header size is 8 bytes and it given to the transport layer, the IP header size is 93 bytes. Why? Because I am using the IP security and I am using IPv6 version. Then finally it gives to the, uh, the data is given to the ethernet and ethernet encapsulate the data, which 42 bytes of its header. Uh, okay, now we have to calculate uh, what is the size of the packet. Now the size of the packet is nothing but 700 plus GTP header plus UDP header plus IP header and finally the ethernet overhead header then the value is 851 so what is the overhead bytes overhead bytes is the total 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 packet size divided by the actual payload size so it is 851 divided by 700 is equal to 1.21 so 1.21 is the overhead calculation for this configuration so there are different type of configurations out there. Uh, we, we can see one more configuration. This is without IPsec. Without IPsec, the IP header size is reduced to 23 here. So when you sum up all these things, the packet size becomes 781 and the basic payload size is 700. So 781 divided by 700 equal to 1.11. 
this is the overhead for without ipsec and we will move to another case here we ignore the interframe gap ifg and the preambles so the ethernet overhead size is reduced to 22 bytes and then we are using ipv6 with ip security so the total size of the payload is uh, 831 and the actual size of the payload is 700 so 831 divided by 700 equal to 1.19 so this is the way we use to calculate the overhead for various configurations so if mpls is used in your transport network then you have to cal calculate the mpls header also for this calculation so that's all viewers have a nice day thanks for watching